Hey guys, it's Mara, and today I want to talk to you about a glucose tolerance test. So first of all, I want to talk about um, the three-hour glucose tolerance test, which is to diagnose gestational diabetes. So first of all, you'll come into the lab or the hospital, wherever you are, and first you will get registered. Um, they'll put in your information, your birthday, your insurance information if you have insurance. Um, and your orders for hopefully the three-hour glucose tolerance test or they may be in the computer system already because your doctor ordered it um, but you'll come in and you'll get registered and then you'll come to the lab so first of all we will take a fasting glucose level so you'll come back they'll take your blood and then we'll run your glucose and see what it is fasting so you should be fasting between 8 and 12 hours before you come in um, just to get that fasting level. So once we get that glucose level, um, then we'll decide if you will receive a dose or not. So if that level is greater than 126, now this could be for a pregnant or non-pregnant, but we're talking about pregnant women. Um, if it's greater than 126, then we will not give you the glucose drink. That is already indicative of uh, gestational diabetes and also technically diabetes mellitus um, if you were not pregnant. Um, so we won't give you a drink. But as long as it's less than 126, then we will give you the 100 gram glucola drink. Now, there are a couple different flavors to choose from. Um, I have heard that the red flavor is better than the orange, but I personally don't remember when I took my, uh, I did a two or three hour one time. I think I was technically supposed to be do a two hour, but three hours really kind of reserved for a pregnant adult, um, but whatever. So um, there's the red and the orange. There is also a like lemon lime flavor, but I think that's only 75 grams, and the 75 grams is um, for either a three-hour um, non-pregnant adult or a two-hour, There's it, it kind of depends. If it's just a one-hour, you'll get 50. Um, if it's in, in the doctor's offices, I'm pretty sure that's what they give um, pregnant women to kind of see if they fail that one, they fail that test, then they will send it to the lab to get the three-hour test done. So anyway, getting sidetracked. But um, if, so if you're less than 126, your fasting level, which you should be unless something's wrong, um, then you'll get your drink. So you have to drink the Lucola drink, um, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be less than like five or ten minutes, you're supposed to drink the whole bottle, um, and I will show you guys what that looks like now. Um, here is the orange flavor, it's actually called Gluco Crush, you guys can see that, 75 grams, so this is a 75 gram one, if you are a pregnant adult you will receive the 100 gram one, but they are the same bottles, um, or the same size bottles, what I mean, so there's an orange flavor and there is a red flavor, I think it's like fruit punch, um, but what's in here contains water, dextrose from corn, natural flavoring, citric acid, sodium benzoate, um, yellow and red color dyes basically. So this is what it looks like. We keep them refrigerated. I don't think a warm sugary drink probably tastes as good as a cold drink no matter what it tastes like. But um, so and I want to kind of go over a couple of the levels so you know um, if your levels are above this then you are pretty much diagnosed with gestational diabetes mellitus. So if now you have to have two or more values have to be exceeding these levels to be diagnosed. So if you just have one, then I guess you're not diagnosed technically. So if your fasting is greater than 195, that's indicative. Um, if your one hour is greater than 180, if your two hour is greater than 155, and if your three hour is greater than 140. So you have to have at least two of those be above those levels. So your fasting can be fine, but then maybe your glucose shoots up to say 190, um, and then your two hour hasn't gone down to maybe 160, 
um, but then your three hour goes down to say um, 100 or so, then you would still be diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to um, comment down below and I will try to answer them. Um, so once you, oh, one more thing, once you get your, your glucola drink, that is when the time starts from. So you have your fasting glucose, as long as it's less than 126, you get your drink. And then once you drink it, you will let the phlebotomist or whoever's taking the blood know. Um, and then they will start the timer from then. So from that, then it's an hour after that, two hours after that, three hours after that. So the whole process could take, you know, four hours or so, especially with getting registered and, and getting to the lab and then getting your fasting blood drawn, getting that level back to make sure you can have the drink, it can take more than three hours. So though it's called three hour glucose tolerance test, it will take a little bit longer than the technically three hours. Um, there is also a note in here, at least for our lab, we cannot do jelly beans as an acceptable specimen um, alternative to the glucose drink. I have heard of women doing, um, using jelly beans instead, um, but we don't allow that here. Um, you have to make sure you're fasting. A lot of women come in to do the three hour test because they failed the one in their doctor's office, which they don't really let you know you're going to have it done most of the time. It's just kind of trying to catch um, diabetes mellitus, being more cautious, I guess, in that you may catch more people than if they were like monitoring what they ate because they knew they were going to come in and have it done. So I know I've heard of a lot of people, they had like sugary cereals and they had sugary drinks and things like that. And then they went in and had the glucose test done. Um, and so they're fasting, they're not fasting. Um, so their glucose was probably already high. And then once they take the 100 grams, uh, or actually it's not 100 grams for the one hour, it's just 50. Once they take the 50 glucose drink, um, then their glucose can shoot right on up to 140, 150, 160, even higher. Um, and so that would be considered impaired. And then they will have to do the three hour test. So my advice is to make sure you eat healthy. I don't know, uh, eat protein, eat substantial, not uh, complex carbs, not simple carbs to kind of um, level your glucose out for the day as much as you can. Now some people are going to fail the test regardless, but I think it can help you to kind of um, not have to do the three hour glucose test if it was just because you ate bad that day and ate a lot of sugary things and you're not really diabetic from pregnancy and gestational diabetes. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you guys have any comments, um, any questions, comment down below and ask me and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but yeah, and I will see you guys later. Bye.